Mr. Beast's X Factor, $1 million in ad revenue. Ladies and gents, gather around. Let's talk Mr. Beast. Quick history and quick recap, just for context. I covered Mr. Beast from our total controversial view. And uh, yeah, everything I did or provided was based on my research that I found. And uh, didn't even have one person who took a stand and said I was wrong. So, which means I'm assuming I'm right. Because if I called out a scammer, a list scammer, bad dude, whatever. Yeah, I'm not saying Mr. Beast is bad. Hey, this is the first time I'm actually doing something positive here. Right? And all the videos I've done is for research and for educational purposes only. Not to humiliate or, yeah, like criticize, I would say, or defame anybody. Nope. Constructive criticism. Different perspective. And that's about it. I did a video where I talked about Mr. Beast, um, give shout out to so-called Ponzi's in the past, alleged. And yes, I have screenshots, everything to back it up. When you are huge, a lot of people will approach you, insiders, VCs, this, that. You don't even know their motive, uh, motives. So sometimes greed takes over and you accept some sort of deal. You give a shout out to the project. The project turns out to be a scam. But however, you did promote it to your millions of followers. He's one of the largest creators in planet, on this planet. And that's real. 200 million views is his average uh, thingy on his videos. 200 million. Imagine that. US, 300 million population, 200 million. I mean, that's, that's can't beat that, right? And a lot of people copy him. And I say this over and over again. No wonder they'll quit sooner or later. You can't just copy someone's personality, right? You got to have your own. Bring it up. Like, if, if not, you're going to get burned out sooner or later. We see this trend. We quit. I quit. Why? Even after 10 years, because they're trying to please. Yeah, we are doing it for the audience as well. But if you don't enjoy it inherently, I guess you get burned out. So like the way I do it, script, I don't have any scripts and stuff. A lot of people, man, you should script. You should, then you're going to get more subscribers or followers. I'm like, yeah, but then that's not the point. I'm not trying to get those subscribers who actually want me to script. I'm trying to attract those. Just like Apple's uh, Steve, Bezo uh, Steve Bezos, Steve Jobs, he created iPhone. Nobody knew that they wanted the iPhone. He actually made them realize, yes, you need this. You need this. We all need this. And like, oh, wow. Yeah, you're right. We need this. Yeah. So a lot of people don't know what they need. So we need to give them. And then they, later they realize. So now coming back to the topic. Yeah, I know. I have to give you a lot of context. And surprising to see that Mr. Beast posting on X now to some extent, not everything. Because X is Elon Musk. Then we have, he's also under Disney, Night Media, Disney. There's some connection. And Disney, Bob Iger with Elon Musk kind of doesn't add up. So... You probably have, and also Mr. Beast is doing a show on Amazon Prime. I love Amazon Prime. Hey man, can't help it. I had never had a bad experience. That's my personal opinion, personal experience. And also I'm an Amazon influencer, but that's nothing to do with this. I, if I had any issues, I would definitely bring it up, right? A prominent content creator has earned approximately 1 million in ad revenue by posting videos on Platform X. This achievement highlights the potential for content creators to generate significant income through the platform, which boosts an impressive 80% daily video consumption rate amongst these users. Of course, hey, keeping my soft corner for Elon, a little soft corner, just because of free speech, so-called free speech, right? But X has potential. I mentioned this several times. And kid you not, just to show you, I have a couple of accounts which are I'm working on. These are my experiences. This is my crypto, all right? And I do support well the X platform with my premium subscription. I have a project in for Belenier and also a digital DFY, which I don't want to talk about it right now, just to show you for context, because a lot of people are like, you faking it, man. No, not really. But however, if you look at some of my views here and I'm promoting this, I promoted this with ads and I plan on running ads again very soon. I'm also going to run ads on Instagram and other places. It's crazy. How I'm going to run ads on Mr. Beast's video so he makes money. I mean, that's how I'm going to actually make money. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work. We'll discuss that later. But what are the chances of average Joe to compare to Mr. Beast? Nope. I didn't get it monetized yet. And a lot of the accounts my following on X. And my mission is totally different. I'm here not to talk about what I'm planning to do and this. I'm just giving you a total what I'm just coming, what I came across. The Mr. Beast thing. And my the thing was... Keeping all the emotions aside, this is a, some sort of marketing tactic, you know, right? Mr. Beast, huge creator. And again, keeping my soft corner, right? I just mentioned. It's a marketing BS to some extent, right? How many people can actually compare to Mr. Beast and do the same thing, replicate? 
because now when you watch this, I do post on X. I try, uh, tried streaming on X. Matter of fact, my live streams 10 hours ago, 10 views, one follower on Rumble. I'm on Twitch as well. I do video games and stuff. I try quite a few things, not for the views or any of that. I experiment. Hence, I can talk about it. And there are some things that I actually do based on experimental channels. So this experiment, actually the result helps me build something else, which I do behind the scenes. Yeah, not everything can be seen, actually. That's real. So again, 80% daily video consumption. X actually has a lot of people who watch this thing religiously. There are, it's a hit or miss. If you're too small, nobody knows you, whatever, or your algorithm doesn't favor you something, you're, you're dead. Some of my, my posts, 10 views, 20 views, versus some dude with 100,000 followers, half a million views, way more views than the following. So that's, that's, that's insane. That's a huge gain. And if done right, you can make a lot of money from actually doing other stuff, maybe not from ads, but I can see the potential from the paid ad side and other stuff. But as a content creator, small content creator, I doubt, even if even so small, I mean, you gotta be in the Hassan Piker, Osmo Gold, XQC, those kind of level, I show speed, right? Aiden Ross kind of, you can even throw in Andrew Trade. Yeah, sure, those kind of level. If not, no chance, right? So new content creators, YouTube, you have a better chance because YouTube and TikTok so-called, I, I, I have zero traction on TikTok, man, but YouTube will give you that edge, basically. And then from there, maybe you can take it to con other places, but getting monetized on X is much difficult than on YouTube, according to me, at least. Okay, Mr. Beast, he would have never taken off on other social media if he didn't have the YouTube. He literally used it as a leverage, then diversified everything elsewhere. And that's the reality. But this one, again, caught me all of a sudden. The Verge, Instagram makes more money from ads than YouTube does. So what does it mean? Probably Instagram is also paying a lot of content creators. And matter of fact, I haven't tapped into that at all. I have this mixed feeling with uh, Facebook because Facebook and Instagram is huge for boomers and there's a huge audience. I mean, I keep saying, yeah, it's nasty, this and that. Yep, yeah, I'm not a content poster there because it doesn't benefit me. It's just like your friends see that or that see that. I want to open up like globally. And uh, I have all the accounts for my e-commerce unboxing video um, stuff. So, but I haven't tapped into that market much at all. I even have a cat Instagram account. <laughs> The reels. So I have an automated thingy system that actually goes post everywhere, but the traction is poor. Unless I, this guy has a team who does post and algorithm, you know, they do the SEO. So if you really want to tap into so many things at once, I don't think it's going to work out. That's my based on personal experience. I have multiple accounts. Uh, YouTube recently banned my Arabic channel, Arabic translated channel. I don't understand why. I'm going to do another topic on that. Bruh. Russia and everything is fine. Arabic took, got took, taken down for some copyright, not copyright, community issues all of a sudden. <laughs> and I'll talk about that some other time, regardless. That was an experimental channel anyways, right? And yeah, so this shows me and on the other side, Instagram and Facebook also has naive people who fall for so-called scams. And I've seen weird stuff running on Facebook ads, like as ads, scamsy, sponsies. <laughs> I've seen ads that are talking about concealed license, scam. Do you get this? They have ads running that will ask people, basically asking people for paying them $100 or whatever, so they can get a concealed license in the mail. You don't have to take the test. And people are literally paying them money and uh, some of the reviews, hey, it's a scam. I paid them, didn't get anything in return. And that's actually the comments. And that thing is still running. So I, I don't know, whatever you want to say, but hence, if you looked at the stock market, the meta, why do you think it's going up and up and up? Because meta combines Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, and other stuff, but their Instagram and Facebook makes a lot of money from ads. All the internet marketers, they run, they run ads on Facebook because the audience is kind of naive and they'll buy into anything. Yep. You heard it here, right? That's the truth. Okay. Simple as that. Anyways. Mr. Beast has earned around 1 million in ad revenue from his five videos uploaded on X. So five videos, only five videos, $1 million. That's huge. That's huge, man. And that's, like I said, you can beat that. It's like literally almost 1 billion views. And it's like uh, uh, $250,000 for almost for each video. $200,000 each video. Average, right? 
That's crazy. And this, these are the videos here. You see this? These are the videos. The car stuff, the 150 to go. So I guess he's choosing what he wants to put. But it doesn't add up to me. But it's interesting though. 1 billion views here. Are the same people watching his YouTube videos? You know, like watching it here, watching it there. I don't know. Probably. But uh, our audience is different. I don't do what he does. Not even, not even interested, to be honest. A lot of people will follow his footsteps and then get burned out. You choose whatever you want to do. Not my thing. So far, he's been around a million in ad revenue. This is coming from Mr. Beast himself. So he's been around a million. Uh, I'm just adding to, to my video budget. So now I can spend more on content, of course, man. Also a good tax write-off, man. No doubt. While you can build this equity in billion dollar company, right? I know, I know. Not bad, not bad. Smart model though. Interesting. Oh, parody, sure. But confusing. Mr. Beast uh, recently X Disney, and then again he's here. Sure. But again, he's investing, so why not, right? Anyways, everyone's talking about this. So I thought, you know what? Well, not other places. Over here, all news reporting the same thing. But nobody's going to give you the perspective that I will give you. Why? Because I'm also a creator. You can see this, right? This dude, Doge Designer, is making money just by posting this. I don't know if you know this. Because of this 900k views, I bet this is monetized. Because the dude has half a million followers, man. Come on. So they are making money by posting and all this thing. I don't, I make, this channel is not monetized. I'm not going to make many money from this. So yeah, unless you buy something from me. So yeah, look at this. This post itself. Seven, each post they're posting, each post, post they're making them money. Ironically, Mr. Beast posting this itself is making money because there'll be ads running on that page, on that thing. It depends though. So yeah, it, it's crazy. I could literally run ads on some of the Mr. Beast post, which probably I will in the future. Who knows? Once I make a little money. Crazy though, right? Both sides of the coin. So anyways, ladies and gents, that's all I have for you. I hope you found this useful and something to take away. Weekend shenanigan. And yeah, if you like what you see, please give a thumbs up. I barely say because I forget. Then after I'm done with the video, I'm like, why didn't I tell them to subscribe? I forgot that I should have to tell people. If not, nobody cares. It's real. Just look at the counts. <laughs> Unless I'm in Mr. Beast level, which is never going to happen. He's totally on a different tangent. So anyways, thanks for watching. Maybe subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.